Today's lesson is about the definition of binomial nomenclature. The plants and animals, they were actually given common names by the people and these common names, they differ from country to country and region to region. For example, the black bird name was given to crow as well as to the ravens. But the disadvantage of these common names were that they were very confusing and they cannot be used internationally. For example, if a person is using a particular name in one country and traveling to another country, that common name he cannot use into the new country. So that was the biggest disadvantage of that common names. To overcome this confusion, the Swedish botanist Carolus Linnaeus devised a system of giving two names to each organism. So the system he devised is now known as binomial nomenclature. Now what is the definition of binomial nomenclature? In the binomial, bi means two, nominal means names, while the nomenclature means system of choosing the names for things. So the definition of binomial nomenclature is a systematic method of naming living creatures by giving name which is made up of two terms. The first name represents the genus while the second name represents the species in binomial nomenclature. Here are some examples of the name by using the binomial nomenclature system. Here the name Rana Tigrina actually named for the frog, Rosa Indica for rose, Pisum sativum for pea plant, while the Homo sapiens for human. Here the first name is genus, the second name is species name. Now the rules of binomial nomenclature is they are the names are originated from the Latin language. The names are actually written in italics as you can see here the alien sepa and homo sapiens they are not written in a straight form but they are italic if handwritten a binomial name should be underlined now the point is that one underlining is not acceptable but genus name is separately underlined and species name is separately underlined so this thing you should keep in the mind now the genus name it will always starts with capital letter while the species name it will start with the small letter. Now what are the benefits of using the binomial nomenclature system that it is globally rec recognized like I said if a person traveling from one country and going to another country he can use the name without any difficulty. The binomial names they are actually very unique name. And they represent one type of organism or one specific or particular organism. It reduces the confusion like we have the confusion between raven and crow. Now we have their scientific names so they cannot be confused. The binomial names they are shorter, specific and easy to use.